You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out the Ocean Life Excavation Kit from Geo Central. I have three here. It says collect all six, so I have no idea what I'm going to get. There's a swordfish, a stingray, a crab, a sea turtle, a red rock cod, or a harbor seal. Interesting combination with a red rock cod in there. Instructions. Here, let me move these out of the way. It says place earthen block on an easy to clean surface or on a big sheet of paper. Use the digging tool to gently scrape away at block until object appears. Carefully dig away all material from object before removing from block. Any remaining material can be removed with a brush or a cloth. If necessary, you can wash object with water. Hmm, water sounds good. There's everything that's in the box. Why does it sound good? Because I thought in the past I've smashed blocks like this. I might just leave them in water and see what happens. And I got this from World Market. It says the ocean is our planet's biggest habitat. It covers nearly three-fourths of the Earth's surface and supports almost 50% of all the species that live on the planet. The study of life that exists in our oceans is called marine biology because the oceans are so vast. We know less about all the different types of life that live in the ocean compared to what we know about the plants and animals that live on land. Starting in the year 2000, scientists from over 80 different countries worked on a census of marine life to discover more about the life that exists in the ocean. Now over 1,000 new marine species have been named each year since the study began. Wow. Let me get something here. Well, let me take one out of the box. That's what I'll do. I'll take the first one out of the box. We'll take a look at it. Then I'll bring in some water. And then I'm just going to videotape and leave it. I'll just let the videotape run. So there is my Geo Central. All right. Let me get a little tool here to take this out. Now, it should just come apart in water. I know some of the other ones do. This has got this weird chalky. I might have to get in there with my fingers as it starts to break down but look see okay so I bet you in water we should be okay so when I come back I'll have some water and uh, I'll just videotape what happens all right I am set but I did want to chip away at one of these just to see how it chips because it's different than the sandstone blocks that I've done before with the gold and I did get some diamond ones by the way so those will be coming up as well these uh, are from World Market the other ones I found at uh, Target I was actually looking for the planet putty that I showed in a previous video and uh, these happen to be uh, at World Market and then the Target also had the diamond one so that's what I'm trying to say two different stores but the same shopping experience alright so now these are both out and it looks like they're gonna just peel apart real easy so it shouldn't take much let me just try one here before I dip them in the water and then I can see, so, yeah, breaks right apart, see that? So what I'll do is I'll just let the camera roll, and if you see my hands come in to just kind of pull it apart, that's the reason. So this looks like it's just going to chip real easy, which is the, uh, which it does. All right, so let me bring this back in. I'll have to clean this up. I'm going to turn the sound down, maybe put some music, and here we go. Let's check them out. One, two and three all right oh cool see the water going in that one all right
All right, I am back. I think I made a substantial mess. Now, what do I smell? It almost smells like ceramic type material. Almost like ceramic powder in a way when I smell it. That's what it reminds me of working with that. Now, I let it sit uh, for a while, but there wasn't much change, so I kept coming in and checking back. It was really neat to see that bubbling going on, but now that it's wet, you can see it's wet all the way through. It kind of, it does break apart super easy. So here's what I ended up with. I ended up with two of these little guys, the crabs, okay, and then one of the turtles, or what do they call it? The sea turtle. And look at him in the messy, out of the messy water. Here we go. It's okay. My tabletop will clean real nice, so I'm not wor too worried about it. It's almost like a slime video, but now look at that. Ooh, it's like they've traveled out of the silky water, sooty water, to get to fresh land. All right, there you go. I would say that's pretty cool. What did it prove? Absolutely nothing. Uh, I made a mess. That's all it really proved. Do these break apart as easy as the other ones in water? Well, I'll have to determine that on the... Uh, the diamond blocks, because those are the same kind of sand material. These are different now, so this is a different material. And I have a few other ones to check out, so I will do different tests on each one. Now we know. This looks like it's just going to make like a pasty, brown, mushy mess. Which can easily be turned into slime. If I put my slime powder in here, this will be slime in no time. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. This video is not over. Let me go get some slime powder. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna put in two, about teaspoon amount of my slime powder. There's one. Might take a little more. There's a lot more liquid here, so let's start with the two. Now this is technically not part of the Will It Slime series, so I'm not going to put it in there. This is more just, uh, and I don't know, where those videos where people say, how did I end up here? Well, yeah, it's one of those weird videos. I start with these little block-like structures or sand pieces, and all of a sudden I'm turning them into slime. There's three now. Is it turning into slime? It definitely is. Look at that. Let's see now. Yep, I have a slimy substrate. And it looks like it just changed the uh, color too, maybe a little darker, I don't know. Uh, when I review the video, I'll know for sure. Mixing it up real good now. Gotta get my hands in this slimy mess. Yep, good slime. I'm gonna put a little more in so I can slime it faster. Otherwise, I'd have to let this sit for a good 10, 15 minutes. Here we go, this'll really take us over the slime top here. Okay, let me get my slimy creatures in there. Normally, I put something down, but today, it's straight to the slime. Now, look at that. It's starting to pick up, see that? Here we go, fellas, get in the slime. Oh, oh! look at that. I would say the slime is a very playable, functional. So I will stop talking now and just kind of squish. Well, I will say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this very weird video. I will have some cleanup to do later, but for now, I'm having fun. Look at that.
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.